Okay, let's say you're like a lot of people and you're building a lab to study for Microsoft certifications. And like a lot of people, you have a copy of VMware Workstation because you also have some VMware certifications. And we're on uh, VMware Workstation here. We have a Windows 2012 server set up here. And we want to add the Hyper-V role to this server. So we're selecting this server. We pick the Hyper-V role. We tell it to add all the features. And guess what? It's complaining because it's saying we're not going to run a hypervisor on a VM. So then how do I make it pass this so that I can set up hypervisors in Workstation to allow me to proceed with my studying? So the way we do that is it's actually pretty simple. We power off our VM. And then once it's stopped, we'll be able to get to settings. And there's a simple setting that we have to change. Now, there are ways to do this manually by editing files. But, you know, the easy way is just to go into settings right here. If we go over to options. And down here where all the Windows versions are selected, we can pick Hyper-V. And it says unsupported, obviously. This isn't something that you'd want to do in any sort of production environment. But now we power on the machine again, and we'll go back to add that Hyper-V role. And you'll be able to see that it adds it with no problem. Now that'll let us set up multiple Windows Server Hyper-V uh, servers so that we can set up various test scenarios for the pieces that we need to study for the Windows 2012 tests. So as soon as this gets logged on, we'll go back in there and add that role again, and we'll be able to see that it works fine. So here the server is just coming back up. We're logging in again. It'll take a couple minutes to load the server manager console. And then we'll add that Hyper-V role. Here comes server manager. And now we go to add roles and features. We pick this server here. We click the IPV role. We add all the features that support that role. And you can see that. It allowed us to get through it without any problems. So if you're setting up multiple hypervisors on Workstation, uh, th again, this is VM Workstation specific. If you're trying to do the same thing by nesting hypervisors on Microsoft Hyper-V, that's a different process.